Out on the road here is a juvenile, many-banded crate. Notice the pale, washed-out coloration and those whitish-looking eyes. It's not blind or sick. It's just close to shedding its skin, giving it a washed-out, faded look. Despite being one of the most venomous snakes in Taiwan, they're very shy, and it just wants to move away to safety. Um, somewhere in the hills, uh, on the edge of Kunding National Park, taking the opportunity to go for a quick night hike. Let's see what we can see. A few of the usuals are out. A red-banded snake scurries off the trail. A few greater green snakes sleep up in the trees. And of course, green tree vipers are around. But there's more. Probably it's hard to see from here, but down there, moving amongst these bushes here, a hundred pace of viper. Really awesome. Hang on, let me change cameras. Dainicestridon acutus. This one is roughly medium sized. What a beauty. They're quite revered by some of the Aboriginal tribes of Taiwan, especially the Paiwan tribe that is prominent in this area of Taiwan. Look at those beautiful patterns and see how well they serve as camouflage among the dead leaves. Coiled up here like this makes it very hard to see. Even that characteristic pointy nose resembles a dead leaf. As ambush predators, this makes them very good at waiting unseen until prey comes too close. You see that flicking of the tail? That's a clear warning not to get too close. They have fairly toxic venom, enabling them to quickly subdue prey but also resulting in their common name, Hundred Pacer, or Bai Bu Shu in Chinese. Based on the legend that after being bitten, a person could only expect to walk a hundred steps before dropping dead. Although this is somewhat of an exaggeration, the venom is quite deadly to humans. However, as long as you don't get too close, they won't bite. Off it goes back into the forest and away among the rocks. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you see you next time.